What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so the Game Awards were last night. Man, oh, man. Um... The awards that were giving set aside, the show was an eye pleaser. You know what I mean? Uh, the presentation to the show, the presence was good, was very good. And y'all know me, I am not the biggest Jeff Keighley fan as far as his video game uh, knowledge and his opinions and stuff like that. But he has, over the years, learned how to put on a hell of a show as far as promoting games and having us peer into the future as far as what comes what's coming down the pike um later in the generation or in future generations but with all that bloviating i say that to say this um there were three big takeaways from the game awards last night and i want to get into them and then have y'all discuss it in the comment section below or y'all can get at me you know what i mean uh, via social media, you know, I'm, I'm all about having in-depth discussions. So let's get into it. Uh, first and foremost, like I said, those game presentations were excellent. Um, not some of the biggest surprises, you know what I'm saying? But just the stuff that they did show, uh, was, was pretty cool. Um, I liked, uh, Ghost of Tashima's aesthetic, you know what I mean? That, the, the presence of that typical Sony, but it looked good. Um, I think the game uh, name is Godfall, the one that Gearbox is working on with them. That's going to be a console timed exclusive. Um, doing some reading up on that, it looks like it's like a Destiny clone to where it's a, more of a slasher than it is a shooter. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be interested to see that, you know, on the heels of Gearbox attempting Battleborn. You know what I'm saying? So we'll, we'll see if they can step out of the, the world of Borderlands and see success once again, right? Um, they're publishing that game. I don't think they're doing any development. Um, and, and, and just some other stuff that was shown there too. It, it, it just showed pretty well. So again, kudos to, to Jeff for that. The second big takeaway uh, was the Xbox One Series reveal. And for those of you that may not know what the hell I'm talking about, that was the for all intents and purposes, the next gen Xbox that was showed. Um, the next gen Xbox looked, you know, it had a peculiar aesthetic. It looked like Alexa. I was joking around on social media. It looked like an Alexa clone, but the way that it's built speaks power. You know what I'm saying? Um, it speaks power so much that now on social media, people are saying that this definitely is going to have the power crown. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we'll be interested to hear the, the shakeups of that and that dynamic. But it was very surprising to have Phil Spencer come out on stage and reveal that at the Game Awards. Wow. So it's created a lot of buzz. Um, I'll say this about the Xbox One series. Um, I don't like the name. I, I, you you would think that they would try to get to a more like 360 established name to separate themselves more from the Xbox uh, One, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't get that. But with that being said, um, again, it does speak power, but what does power mean unless we see the games? Like we've we, we seen the impact that the Xbox One X had. It, it didn't meet, meet, it didn't, it wasn't greeted with much fanfare and mind share outside of people that were already in the ecosystem it didn't do the job that people were hoping that it would do so in order for this to do that job we got to see the software now um hellblade 2 the sequel it was visually good but hellblade unless they extend the gameplay a whole heck of a lot that's not one that has broad reach you feel me um so they got to show something that just looks phenomenal that's gonna have broad reach with gamers and then I think they can do the job that they're looking to do. That's it. The final big takeaway, wow. Number one, numero uno, is how Death Stranding <laughs> got stranded. 
Woo! My goodness. So, I want to show y'all something. First and foremost, let me say this. Google, even though I'm airing this on their platform, and, and, and I love Stadia, I'm sorry, you know, but my love for Google is not I- I- infinite. You know what I'm saying? Beyond Stadia. Google's a joke. We at the Broadband Bullies tried to do a live reaction show, very well recepted. On my channel, got 789 views, which is a lot for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we had up, upwards of like 90 people watching at one point in time because Z couldn't host it on his channel. So we were hosting it on my channel. Great show. People were enjoying it. Z came in at the last minute with his banter. Him and Mass was going. It was a great show, right? But YouTube blocked it. We're still trying to get it active. We're trying to do some things. But come to find out, due to their convoluted copyright system, not only did they block my video, anybody else that was doing live reactions that played any audio, and they blocked Jeff Keighley. Look at this. This is his YouTube channel for the Game Awards. It's unavailable. It's blocked in the U.S. You know what I'm saying? Then if you go to the to the website, let me see here. You go to the Video Game Awards website, and you want to watch the video, look. So Google, you got to do better. I just wanted to throw that in there. But with that being said, we got Death Stranding. They were nominated for Game of the Year. They didn't win that. It went to Sekiro. They were nominated for Best Action Adventure. Didn't win that. It went to Sekiro. They were nominated for Art Direction. Didn't win that. Went to Control. They were nominated for Audio Design. Didn't win that. Went to Call of Duty. They were nominated for Game Direction, which is awarded for Outstanding Creative Visions and Innovation in Game Direction and Design. They did win that. They were nominated for Narrative, right. Outstanding Storytelling. Didn't win that, went to Disco Elysium. And lastly, they were nominated for Score Music. They did win that with uh, uh, um, uh, Death Stranding. And then I think one of the characters won like a character award as well. So two or three awards attributed to Death Stranding, maybe four. I remember something earlier on. But a lot of us were predicting, predicting one or two things. We were predicting either... Um, a clean sweep from Death Stranding because they were nominated in so many things or that they were going to win game of the year and none of that happened. So I think what happened was Geoff Keighley or Jeff Keighley. Let me stop calling that. Jeff Keighley was, was scouring social media in advance of the game awards, trying to get public perception. Tell me this is my tenfold hat belief or whatever. I don't care. I believe that once they got that public perception, Jeff was like, you know what? My master plan for Death Stranding to own this world ain't going to work or it's going to destroy my my love for the Game Awards. And, you know, and that's why you saw the results. Because what else explains Death Stranding of all games getting nominated for so much, so, so many categories and to fall this short? Like something was in the works for it to get nominated so much. I call me tinfoil hat wearing moss or whatever. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Where there's smoke, there's fire. But good for Jeff Keighley that that didn't win or none of those scenarios happened because that would have destroyed the game awards as far as having any legitimacy. I still just look at the game awards for its presentations of new forthcoming games. I don't take them seriously as far as what their credit is good or bad. But at least that happened. So those were the three big takeaways. The game presentations, which were phenomenal. The Xbox One series release, which, you know what I'm saying, created a lot of buzz. You know what I'm saying? And looks very powerful. And Death Stranding getting that snub. <laughs> hey, that's it from your boy. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? And with that being said, if you did like what I had to say, check me out per all the links below to follow me. Check me out with the Broadband Bullies. Check me out with PNTS Network. And check me out on the Hard Knock Digital Culture at hndc.live. And with that said, you all have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.